There's my big man. I was looking for you at the pool. I was going to drive you for some ice cream. But it looks like the ice cream just drove to you. Thanks. I'm not hungry. What? Really? Okay. Well, I guess it's two for me then. You know what, son? I'm proud of you. Seeing you at the pool, with all those people putting their lives in your hands. It's a hell of a lot of responsibility and you're taking good care of them. I really admire that. You're doing good work. What if I'm not? What if I've never taken any responsibility for anything in my entire life? What if I told you that I'm not a who you think I am. That I'm not doing what you think I'm doing. Okay, you listen to me, all right? I'm gonna say this once. It doesn't matter what you've done or what you haven't done. I will always love you, okay? Now your mother on the other hand. <laughs> No, I'm kidding, seriously. Yeah, you know, everybody makes mistakes. Some people lie, some people get away with it. And other people don't want to. Those people, they own their mistakes and they take responsibility and they make them right. You just remember that what has happened in the past isn't nearly as important as what you do next. What a load of crap! Hey guys, I need you to move these trucks. You're blocking our exit path. Parked over as far as we can. Only other option is the street. Street works, probably for the best. Something on your mind, Lieutenant? Oh, yeah. Listen, Captain Delaney, we appreciate you taking us in while our house is being fumigated. As if we had a choice. And I'm sorry if you felt disrespected earlier, but you heard Chief Bowden. 51 was first on scene. It's well within my purview to retain command. Still need you to move these trucks. No, you don't. Looks to me like you're intentionally blocking us so you can be first on the scene again. Oh. Hey, you know, maybe you should stop worrying about getting your picture in the paper and focus more on saving lives, huh? You mean like the driver of the electric vehicle this morning? That's exactly who we mean. The one trapped inside a burning car while you were arguing over jurisdiction. Right. The one you couldn't save. We want you. My name's not Jennings. Wife Elizabeth, children Paige and Henry, runs DuPont Circle Travel. Seems to be out late at night quite a bit. Lives across the street from an FBI agent. Also, the details of his life before 1963 seemed to be a bit hazy. We know who you are. And what you are, Mr. Jennings. You call me prick. Okay. Thank hey, you. it is my favorite new student, Bindu, and uh, her friend. So did you finally come in here to sign up for Akadaka? Uh, no. No? <gasps> Mathletes. Oh my god, can you imagine her on the team? We'd okay. finally be able to kick Cathedral High's boot day. Uh, no, actually, I'm testing out of school. What? What are you talking about? It's only been a couple weeks. No, it's been too many. <laughs> well, come on, you're gonna miss the winter formal wonderful theme this year, and I'm sure uh, your friend would be greatly disappointed. As Bindu's friend and a student who's been here for three years, Peter, I feel like her mind is pretty made up. Okay, so what you're telling me, Paul, is she's gonna take some time to think about it. Good, smart, you. Uh, and all these military issue assault weapons I see there for your new militia or what? There's no militia. It was dissolved in 2009. Okay, so now you're an independent contractor, online sales? Are you arresting me for something? Because I'd like to see a warrant. And we connected five of your men to his cult. I have nothing to do with Joe Carroll and his house of psychos. House. What house? I don't want to say any more until I uh, speak with my lawyer. John Caldwell. I was calling just to ask you a yes or no question. Is that all right? Fine. Are you potentially interested in trading Microsoft? Today? Not with you guys. I have a guy looking for a pretty big chunk, maybe half a mil. Does that interest you? Potentially. 
Sure. My guy's real. He's on the phone. For one call. And that's you. Half a mil? On the wire. Last print. In or out. Put it up. Great. Now, this is just me asking. Would you be able to go larger? Are you trying to front run me? No. You just gotta trust me just a little bit, okay, John? Two million. Could go to two million here. Make it read two. It's two million your total picture. Is he trying to move more? Come on, what's he saying? Are we done here? Let's go. All right, gentlemen, I'm on the phone with both of you right now. I think this ticket reads five million and we all walk away. That'd be on a cleanup? It's a cleanup, John. Okay, fine. Put it up. But, oh, Tom, you'll still be in the box for a week, though. How far a little trust can get you? <laughs>